My name is Lema Roberta Bowie. I'm a peace activist, a women's rights advocate, and 2011 co-winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. Well, I think over the years, my work has made a lot of impact. Our activism during the civil war in Liberia that contributed to the signing of the peace accord that has led to us enjoying the kind of peace that we enjoy today. My work as an advocate for um, the passing of the resolution around rape and sexual violence in war at Wilton Park. My activism about the need for women to be at the peace table and my activism about the protection of women in crisis. I feel like over the years, I've made a huge impact. Recently, I've gotten involved in working with students, mentoring women, and the next generation of leaders in Africa and across the world. And I also feel like that has made an impact in the world. You know, one of the things that I often tell myself, I don't focus on obstacles because it's all around, especially in the peace and security field, is a field that is seen as a male domain. So once you step in, you will encounter a lot of patriarchal attitude. So it was there, but I put my feet down, walked through the door boldly. And so those obstacles became blocks for me to walk all over to get to where I needed to get to. But one obstacle that women continue to face in the work that we do is access to funding. This is something that has hampered the great work that women are doing, especially at the grassroots level. It's been there from when I started and it's still there till today. In 2003 in Liberia, we had gone through a period of war, a protracted period of war, and different groups came together to start peace, but what was interesting about the way we approach peace was through an interfaith, interethnic kind of thing and all women peace movement, and it made a huge difference. Well, over the last 20 years, I've definitely seen a huge change in the narrative around women, peace and security. Um, the narrative that today, when they're talking about peace and security, there is always an inclusion of grassroots women and the important work that they're doing at the community levels. What I haven't seen happen is that kind of work translate into policy, the increase of women at the peace table and the increase of women at the leadership level in different countries and at the international level. Well, that the three Ps around the Resolution 1325 will really be taking into consideration pre participation, prevention, and protection of women. These are things that I think we still lag behind on. Um, also, to make 1325 live 20 years, she's a full woman, and it's time for her to be an adult and to do the good that we brought her into the world to do. <laughs>